The following is a live presentation of Retro Sports Network, home of the champions of the past, present, and or future. And good day, my name is Ron Juckett. Welcome to the program for this 20th day of October 20 to 22th. And me and 136 of my non-existent best friends are going golfing today. Today we go to Riviera to for the home of the Genesis Los Angeles Open. I didn't realize that Genesis was actually a make of car. I hope Phil Collins has one. And so does Peter Gabriel. Because that would make sense if you get that joke. So... We're starting the first week of the regular format for what will be the, this tour, and that is second round during the week. And if we make the cut, and that's debatable whether I make the cut or not, this week, the final round will be Sunday at noon Eastern, 9 Pacific. And so I played the first round yesterday offline. And, well, I'll show you my stats in a minute. We'll get to the leaderboard. I got some work to do. Let's just put it that way. The course was playing wind-free, and so... You should have been able to take advantage of it. Now, I'm going to tell you up front, I thought I played a decent round of golf. I shot a 1 over 72, which is a great. But when you're playing with the all-time best ever, I uh, finished the round in a tie for 118th out of 137. That does not make cuts. So I am 1 over par as I start my second round. The good news is... The breeze is light, and again, Riviera is a course that fits my eye well. So I think I need to shoot a 4-under 67 today to have a chance. That would put me at 3-under par, and I don't think the cut is going to move that much. If I shoot a 66, I definitely think I play the weekend. I'm playing with Jack Nicklaus, by the way. Ever heard of him? And Hal Sutton, who uh, be in the right club today. Is, is what he's best known for. So I'll show you my stats in a minute, but first we'll get you to the leaderboard so you can see the overall situation. Again, I didn't think I played that poorly. But on a calm day, I didn't take advantage of it. And so with all that, I can tell you that you're watching My Pro Golf Life, the second round of the Mookie Betts Los Angeles Open, presented by DigitalDice.com, the best darn podcast on the web for your sports simulation and replay needs. I feel like Johnny Olson doing this on the camera. Find us today on Spotify, Spreaker, iTunes, or wherever else. Fine podcasts are listed. And that is the leaderboard up to the moment. Byron Nelson, 10 under, is a one-stroke leader, and he's on 11. The backside is definitely the tougher of the two sides. J.H. Taylor, a 9 under, 62 yesterday, so he was the clubhouse leader after 18 holes. Ed Fergal, a household name to somebody, and Bob Rossberg, who didn't find many Rossi lies, are two shots back at 8 under. Tony Finau. at 7 under, ranked with, tied with Raymond Floyd on the course, Jerry Pate. Won't find a pond to swim in here if he wins over the weekend. Three shots back at seven under. And amongst the golfers at six under, Tom Weisskopf, Tom Lehman, who won last week, by the way, at Royal Melbourne, and Retief Goosen. So, again, not a scrub in the bunch for all this. What does the trophy look like? It's the one that won't be in the Dodgers case. How about that? So Nicholas goes first. Remember, this is 30 yards down the hill. So you're getting 35 yards off the tee, and he's going with a three iron. Again, I got a score. I'll show you my card from yesterday when it's my turn. And Jack actually is going to miss the third. Stay away. All right, so here is my card from me. There, I did a decent job hitting fairways, 71%. Did not hit a lot of greens. Apparently, the green, without any wind, greens are just very easy to hit, and I did hit a lot of them. I had 30 putts, which I think is terrible. mid pack for putts, greens, and regulation. So, I birdied one, which you should birdie. I bogeyed two, which is a very tough hole. Then I doubled seven. And I can show you this. So, tee shot in the fairway. Then I hit one of those in the deep bunker on the seventh. 
you have to take a lob wedge. I lobbed it way the heck out there. It's not the word I want to use, but this is a family thing. And so I had 22 feet for par. And then 7 feet for bogey. I must have rolled a 2-4. Uh, and then I tapped it in for my double. So that pretty much was the bad part of my round. I got it back on the par short par 4 10th. And then gave it back on the 13th again. Today, they're all going to be into the wind. And somehow, I birdied 18. I did not get birdies on 11 and 17 to 5. So today, cut down on the on the bunker shots. Uh, got to birdie the par 5s. So I need to be 3 under on the 5s. Take advantage of the, par, the short par 4 10th. And I'm trying to think of what else I need to do. And, and obviously... Don't be stupid on seven. Get two shots back there. So I'm thinking as the cat starts to protest at the door, I need to shoot a 67 today to play the weekend. So I'm getting 30, 40 yards. No, I'm not. So I'm getting 35. And it's going right to left five. So I'm going to aim at the right side. And so that's the plan. I got. It. I think a 67 has me safely in for the weekend. I'm not thinking win at this point. I was T11 last week. Let's see what we can do this week. What do I like about Action or ASC Golf that you don't like about Action PC and vice versa? I have Action PC, but I'm thinking of pulling the trigger on ASC. Let me get through the first hole, and then we can chat. 306 off the tee, not bad. I have 201 to get home. Al Sutton with a two iron. So all three of us are in danger of missing the cut. Which is not where you want to be 14 groups in on a Friday afternoon. Oh, and Jack got the U.S. Open lie. You can't see it because you see my mug. But all those spots are red in the flight. So he's in the thick stuff. Course, by the way, played to just under 69 yesterday, so two under was par, in essence. And Jack lays up rather nicely. Hal's going to play next. He's got six. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. So flat hole here, and then I'll answer your question. 201, playing 195. Right to left five. All right. And that is, I'm playing knockdown baby seven. Don't hit it in the bunker. Jack's third. Yeah, don't do that. Th thanks, Jamie. All right, it's not a deep bunker. So left of the hole, and just let's get out of here with a four. Yeah, on the beach, you don't want to see me in the speedo ever, and you don't want to be in the beach. That's good. Okay, set the four. Take my four, get the level, and. Let's not give it back on the next tee. We all need to shoot low today to make the cut. Jack has about two and three chance here. Oh. Oh. Can I make this three foot? Don't roll a two four. Oh, I did, and it still kind of rimmed in. Ha <laughs> ha! Bishka Buska Basketeer. Okay, what do I like about ASG Golf that you don't like about Action PC? I'll show you right here on the tee shot what I like most about. Uh, let me. The thing I like most about Action PC Golf is it really does feel like you are simulating tournament golf. 
it really if, if turn if watching the tour and you want to be a tour pro i think that does the best job it's incredibly cheap um the courses are incredibly cheap 311 i'm losing 10 so i'm losing nothing here and it's going left to right five so i'm just going to play that my driver right here um so as far as what I like about Action PC Golf, the price, it really does feel like you are simming tournament golf. Um, and the seasons and the courses are incredibly cheap. Incredibly cheap. And the, and the community is very strong behind it. However, there is a mix of you either play percentages or yardages. And I'd much rather play yardages than percentages. The math here is very simple in my head. Um, and I'll, I'll, I'll go through that in a minute, and again in a minute. Uh, what I like about ASG is when you play a hole, it kind of feels like that you are playing the hole. I am seeing it in a top-down fashion. I That it's all, but everything is based on yardage to pick out the right club. So here on the second hole, the hole is playing 10 yards down downhill, and then the wind will back that up up 10 yards. So I know that math adjustment is just a yardage adjustment. That That's one thing. So I know I can hit the driver and, and should be okay. And the crosswinds are all yardage um, plays. And it's all dice-based, too. So I know on a given chance I can do the math in my head what my chances are, what I need to roll to make a putt or put one in the fairway or whatever. And in Action PC, it's all just percentages. It doesn't really tell me much of anything. Okay, so I swung the club at 97% and I was off six degrees. I can't correct that. That's all pretty much based on luck. And at least with a dice roll, I know when I see it that it's going to be a good roll or a bad roll or, or not there. And so Action PC to me... Although, again, it's probably the best tournament simulator out there. It just leaves me very frustrated because I'm not getting any feedback from what specifically am I doing wrong. Plus, you're playing on a sideways thing instead of as a, how a yardage book would play. So I guess that's the basics for that. They're both very good games. All right, let me hit this tee shot. So I don't want to hit it too long. Not sure that I can. By the way, two is playing a half shot over par for the first 39 golfers. So we're just going to give this a whack. All right. I hit it too hard, but I'm in the rough, and I might actually be in the spinny wedge rough. So we'll see. I did hit 335 yards, which means I hit the dickens out of it. And I know who you are, just can't think of your name at the moment. So if you got any other questions, just ask. Ooh, you gotta be careful. There's out of bounds out there where Sutton is. Jack's gonna be steaming after that par. They beat it for all he was worth and found the same bunker near where I am. Right, five iron for Hal. That pin's tucked on the right today. <laughs> the only downside really to ASG is the price. I think depending on what if you want to get a season and some court I mean it's a hundred dollars to make a reasonable investment in the game I've gotten my money's worth out of this I think it streams better than than action PC as well all right Jack he's got a pitching wedge That's why he's doing. what have I got a spinny okay this could be good this could be bad oh, right at the pin. Oh, okay, Auto Caddy. Yeah, this is definitely a Richard Hanna game. 
he is the best out there. I will take that. I will absolutely take that. I'm not looking for a birdie here, but I do want my par. Oh, hell. I'm going to try and putt this. It's a flat putt. Why not? I need birdies today. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Didn't lose one. Gained half a shot on the field with that hole. That jack steam at this point. Don't want to go backwards today. And he will. All right. Two, two. Um, Richard's on the other side of the pond. So trying to find a time interview, Richard is there. And we're, we're taping digital dice after we're done here. And uh, Dave and I have kind of... <laughs> we're working on that hockey game. And it's going to be incredible. It's going to be absolutely incredible. So we'll probably wait for that for a little bit before we enter, ask him. All right, so we go to the third. It is 10 yards. Okay, so this is the good part about ASG. I know from the start that I'm losing 10 yards off my club selection from the wind. But I'm gaining 30 looking at the yardage book. So I'm gaining 20. 289 is a good target yardage for me. I'm going to go with a two iron. No crosswind here, so it's just down the wind. Playing 397 today for a stroke average. <laughs> 157 left. I'd love to have Richard on. I, I mean, everything he touches. In house point four. So we all played that. Wow, I beat him right across. Yeah, the hockey one is there. We were given an, another new update overnight. And I Dave and I worked a while last night on some things, and so the beta cup got needed to be erased so if i don't make the cut we'll do something sunday for the hockey game but it's it's the great thing about it is as nicholas goes with a three um an eight iron is that you really don't need to know anything about hockey to enjoy it and he missed left we're getting five pal with an eight So no yardage change. Oof. I'm aiming center of the green. Well, I'm going to play a knockdown shot. I don't want this long. The weather changes too. So that that's another thing I like about this. All right. Yep, I will take that. Come on. Okay, so Jack will make a par. 22 feet from putting chart four. That's a lag. Don't, don't make a forced error. It's helpful if Jack putts. That's bad etiquette for me to walk to the next tee. Come on, Jack. 
pour les cendres. Oh. Once again. We go to four. Tiger, I believe. I finished T11. I love this hole, by the way. I don't remember off the top of my head that Tiger did. It's 10 yards into the wind. And 10 yards, so it's flat. So it plays as it lies. If you leave it right, it'll eventually roll back down onto the green. So I'm going to play this as it as it going right at the pin. 311 the stroke average today. See? Yeah. That's exactly what I want to do. I'm fine with that. Hal's playing a four iron. And Jack's playing a five. In this game, there's a big difference between a four iron and a five iron. A four iron, you're reading off the W column or the wood column. Five iron, you're reading off the iron column. So it's a lot more forgiving. I have 25 feet for bird. Jack is 36. He's going. Okay. I'm going. I'm going. I got a 1 in 6 chance of making this from 25 feet. Watch it go 10 feet past the hole. But I'm fine with that. All right. Thank you. Really quick. How did Tiger do? Well, Tiger's not showing so far. Uh, Craig Wood. Bold Tom. Still got some work to do. Tiger's not going to make the cut. I'm tied for 104th. He finished second last week, if you're still with me. So I need two more birdies. And in fact, I might need three. I may need to get the three under. Don't know if you saw that or not, but so he was 2-2. Two, two. All right, fifth hole, into the wind, 30 yards down the hill, 20 yards down the hill. This will be a three-wood shot. Right in the middle of the fairway. Right in the middle of the fairway. We'll take that. Stroke average today, 387. And remember, I still need three birdies. I, I need to shoot a 67 to make the cut. Now we to finish with two more birdies. And, and Jack and Jackie are not having a good time. Were there three on? Oh, dear. Oh, is that going to hold on? No. No. Oh! Okay, well, that, that should help, pal. So Jack from the... Oh, he's got a good line in the rough. Losing five... In five, so I am gaining five. I'll go at the pin because it's a right to left wind, and the miss point is left 152. Full pitching wedge here for me, so we're down a club. That works.
So I've got 19 feet. <sighs> so it's telling me 8 and 36. 4 and 18. 2 and 9. So two under through five. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. So another 32. So he only needs one more. Right now he's on the other. Yeah, one birdie down, Jamie. Two more to go. And there's three scoring holes left on the back side. So problem is that there's some tough holes. One of my favorite holes in all of golf. The one with a bunker in the middle of the green. And sometimes you got to chip over it. So losing 10 yards. Right to left five. Okay. So 203. I'm playing 213. I'm going to go with the six. How you doing, Matt? So, Matt, I am two shots off the cut. Where I think the cut's going to be. I'm two under through five holes today. I'm on the party surface. Playing to a stroke average of 311, so I'll take that. Jack's not going to make the cut. All right, Hal. That's why you do a spinny wedge. Okay, Jack got his hot dogs and beer at the beach. Oh. 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 21 feet. No, I'm going to lag this. Where I'm looking is where I put the camera. It's just a lot to have all the charts up there. So it's a lag putt for me. It's a putting chart. Four out of five. One being easiest. Five being that exam you never wanted to take in high school. Ooh, I should have putted. Okay. And full, full playing above par, I will take my three and move on. There is a time and a place to put the medal down, and then there is par threes. Nice. That's safe par with that. We all played par, made par. Never going to complain about a par on a par three. This is the one that got me into trouble yesterday. That bunker to the bottom right of the pin is considered a deep bunker, and you are forced to lob wedge it out of there. And I didn't do a good job of that. All right, so 304, I'm getting 10. I'm getting 10. Three wood, all the way. See, now the cut is minus two, so it really it's minus three. So none of us are playing the weekend. Byron, I will read this real quick. Byron Nelson leads Andy North by one. Weisskopf is in at eight under. Fergal is in at eight under. Tony T Finau at eight on the course. So, yeah, there's some good scoring out here, but I need two to make the cut. Sutton needs one. Jack needs three. And I am in the East German armpit here. I hope I have a shot. Oh my goodness. I yanked that one so far to the right. Oh my goodness gracious. Ah, oh. Mm. All right. You've seen golfers make bad shots. 
and now have to sit through the next two tee shots to see just how bad this is. Yeah. That's where I am. Nice shot, Hal. They're playing Hal's ball, right? Let's see if I, have, I can even play this shot. I can. It's giving me an eight iron. So it's technically it's a sand lie. I'm getting five. I'm losing five. So I'm playing it as it lies. I'm just hoping I could chunk this. If I roll, what is it on the card? If I roll a 3-2, I have chunked this shot. It's not moving at all. I made a double here yesterday. That's why I'm in trouble for the cut. Oh. <laughs> oh! Harry Houdini, I am. Ha! <laughs> I got the best possible result I could out of that. Now I gotta make the putt, but ah. yeah. <laughs> I oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. By the Matt, by the way, Matt, congratulations on yesterday. See what Sutton can do. Had it all the way. I'm telling you. Now, I made double from the fairway on seven when I played the first round. You know why they call it golf? Because all the other four letter words are taken. Oh, Hal. Nicely done. I told you we were playing house ball. So I got 13 feet. Jack is 23, and he needs three coming in. He is going. And he just missed. Thirteen feet. Go Strohs. All I do is watch. I have no say in that. Hold the days, by the way, is playing in a stroke average of 403. So this is candy stealing. So I beat it, but I played this one three shots better than yesterday. And I'm playing it from the worst possible lie. It's such a fun game. There you go, Hal. Bob Tway, we're back. Wow, they're scoring on those back not those long, long back nine holes. Okay, so I'm getting ten left to right. Five. I'm losing five, G gaining five. You give me the split fairway, I'm taking it. I think it's a safer shot. The computer will play to the left fairway. I'm playing to the right. It's the second time that I drove Miss Daisy with that driver, and it's the second time I pushed him. <sighs> it's at least in the sand. And the stroke, uh, stroke average is 384. All right. Here comes Hal and Jack to be sensible. All right. Back to two and one. I think that's a three wood shot all the way if you're going to do that. All right, Hal's got a six. He's getting five. He played it as it lied. Laid. Lane. I should have turned left in Albuquerque. I think I did. I ended up in Los Angeles. Nice time for vertigo for me to kick in, by the way. All right, Jack's guy an eight iron. And that's 
why he's black and I'm not. Okay, 134. Um, left to right, 5. So I'll put it there. And I'm going with a pitching wedge. Not a difficult shot. So let's watch Ron bluff it. Outside it being too hard, it's a two putt par. And I am fine with that considering missing fairways here is, I tried to make it tough. So from Steph Curry land, oh, again, I would have made it. Well, there's two putts. There's two shots I've left on the course. And I rolled the dreaded two four and still made it. The putting gods are with me today. Jack now. He's going for this. That's why I don't necessarily go for it, because if you leave yourself a four or five footer for par, my name is not Jordan Spieth. So nine we go. Dak Pa zero zero or Dak CPA zero zero or is our latest follower? Now two hundred and fifty four. All right. It's contained me three twelve. I'm losing five. It's going left to right five. I'm tempted to go with a driver. As, yeah, I'm dizzy. And it's fun. All right. Oh, and I pushed it right. I'm on the cart path. You're right, Jamie. I should have sh turned left at Albuquerque. 188 from the cart path. That should be an interesting shot. I think it considers it sand. Now going with a three. Yeah. Yeah. Jack's going with a driver. I didn't think driver was a bad play. And Jack's in the rough. I can't see me with a shot in the But first, Sutton with a five. Yeah, I should have a good lie off the cart path. I think he's going to consider it a sandwich. We're about to find out. No, it's, it's considered rough. I'm losing five, and and the mistake is to the bailout's the right. So I'm going to aim at the flag with the seven iron. So what I got in my hand? My caddy's doing a good job. Scoring average here is four eleven. I to, uh, you can't see it, but Jack has all red, so he's got the U.S. Open lie. And he only missed the fairway by about a yard. But he puts it on the green, and he'll have two putts for par. I have 23 yards. Past the hole is where I'm going to aim it. Slopes back to front. 15 feet for par is not what I wanted. Good 60 foot lag putt for Jack. I've got 16 feet. First Sutton. Two one 
pot for two four pot okay eight and 36 chance here what did i actually roll i rolled a five three and that's a 10 on the card Ugh. all right three two coming in and i've got the short 10th and two par fives there was no hockey yesterday and there's been two new patches or two new updates since the last stream so we'll figure out something else to show for the hockey but there's been some changes made in the hockey game and we are still in line for a release on Halloween so you, you didn't miss anything yesterday except for me sleeping yep there'll, there'll definitely be more hockey all right, so I'll show you this. 15 putts on the front. So three birdies and a bogey for a two under 33. That's two shots better than I played it. I'm not driving the ball well at all. But 10, 11, and 17 are all scoring chances. So I'm in okay shape through the first nine. The lead is 11 under. I'm not worried about the lead. So, cut that you're seeing is anyone will miss that's two under or worse. So, Hal is the only one that can make the cut at this point. But there's a leaderboard as it sits right now. Oh, look. So, just keep an eye on that. So, I need... I told you, I needed to shoot a 67 when the round started. Hal with the driver. Okay. It's going to play as it lies, and I'm right to left five. And Jack drove it. Jack needs three at least. All right, so there's my five. Losing five as it plays. Losing five. All right. 337 is the stroke average, so I, I need... I need three birdies on the back nine to play the weekend. Well... We'll see. That was not a good shot. This slopes in a hurry. It wants me to just put it on the front edge of the green and have it roll all the way back. All the way back. Oh, man. This is scary. Okay. Well, I'm fucking for birds. Jack's putting for bird. Al's putting for bird. Okay. So 15 feet away, I'm the furthest. Not a difficult putt. Now I've jinxed it. Come on. Ha ha! All right, there's one. And there's one. So right up on it. I birdied this hole yesterday as well. All right, that is one he needs. All right, we all make our three. Paul Casey. Again, I'm not worried about whether I win these or not. There'll be weeks where I can, I will contend. 
I like Riviera. Okay, this is just bomb, bomb, bomb. So three shot par five, I would think. Not getting any yards, by the way. Jack can't buy a fairway. Three fifty-eight. I'm going. Now my aim target isn't where I think it's going to land. I wanted to see if I needed to curtail the long drive. Because if I roll a twelve for a result number, so a one one, a three three, and or a six six. Then it goes to the long drive chart, which you can see. It's right underneath my face. And so potentially I could fly one 315 and have it go 355. Nope. 294. So it's going to be a layup all the way. Got a good lie. Can't. Getting five. Losing five. 254. Gonna play a three iron. I just want to spin something back there. Bucky Dent shot there. Uh, Bucky Dent iron shot. I hit that one left and hit a tree limb. And Jack and I are, are having a nice conversation. Now what the heck is my lie going to be? Goodness gracious. Oh, now I'm not sure I have a shot. Oh, Nick bite me. I wasn't even being I was being ultra conservative on that shot too I got chip out. <sighs> wow. It wouldn't let me punch. Wow. Good luck, Jack. See, I think this is why I think a project like this works. Because you're not seeing it from the leader. You're seeing it from just a person in the field. Oh. All right. Jack with a nine iron. So this is a punch out. See, that's what I wanted to do. And then just get coming in front of it. All right. Regroup. Regroup. Gain and no yardage changed. Three iron. Just regroup. Wouldn't let me punch. I wanted to punch it down to that other fairway and then hit a spinny in, but. Oh. Yeah, okay. I got a chance. If I walk out of here with a five after essentially taking a penalty shot for my second, that'd be an all-world five. I obviously won to four, but wow. I put myself in a position to make a par. Unbelievable.
Hal's going to spinny. Hal's making good. 13 feet for par. Essentially one and three. You know, I'm kind of relieved even if I two put this. I thought we were looking at a seven. Still need two coming home. That sucked. Still two under on the day. I mean, it's not been a bad round at all. All right, 12 playing into the wind. I'm losing 10. It's going right to left 5. Losing 10. Gain 5. Okay. So I'm getting 5 out of the deal. And right to left five. Gotta go. Scoring average 4.11. It didn't move right. He didn't move left. I think Jamie's last comment there is pretty much how I feel. If you don't have a tournament round for you Sunday because I can't play golf, we'll be with you next week from Torrey Pines. Oh, 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 oh. All right, can I fade? No. Yeah, punch out a nine. Wow, gang. One twenty five, one thirty. 130. All right. Sand wedge. Oh! <laughs> oh, I can't say what I'm thinking right now because it's not family friendly. There's still a chance, boys. There's still a chance. Twenty-six out of thirty-six here. How about that for a four, huh? Holes playing to four thirteen. Thirteen. Oh my goodness. 459 into the wind. Losing 10. And 
Jack. Okay, I'm losing five. Driver. Well, sometimes you're the bug and sometimes you're the windshield. And Miss Daisy and I just had a date. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, just a touch anger on that shot. 348 yards down Broadway. Oh, drinky poo time. I can see why people struggle to enjoy sim golf. Just because you get into situations where your brain gets taxed. Yep, Steve McQueen and Great Escape Time. Oh, how's it going to drive? I think that's the beauty of it. You really got to use all that gray matter to play well. Because as Bobby Jones says in that ad, you play on a nine-inch course between your ears. And that's absolutely true. Jack, with an 8-iron, he needs probably, I need two, and hope. All right, so it is five and five. So sand wedge in the center of the green. And if it blows it left, I'm closer to the pin. The bail is right. I'm just having a day, huh? Although I'm telling you, I'm two under on the day. Put the bail out of the area. Two pup par. 46 feet? No. And I got four feet for par. Oh, Jack. 16 feet. Okay. So yeah, three unders where I need to be. I think that will make the cut. So Jack is T seventy four. I am T eighty seven. So I need two. Problem is I lost one of them on the on the par five. Okay, Jack eight iron. Losing five. Okay, he has a place. Two eight seven the stroke average. Baby eight. Knock down eight. Don't put it in the bunker, Ron. Oh! oh! That any good? So I got 12 feet, but I have to make it. Jack is still not playing the weekend. Hal at this point is. I think four under safe. 13 out of 36. Yes, sir. Wow. Okay. Uh, 
15, 487, is playing to a stroke average of 421. Losing 10 with a wind. I'm gaining nothing. So it's downhill 10 and losing 10 right to left. 5. So I'm going to play towards the right. Driver in hand. Yeah, I need, yeah. I got a shot. I'm three under on the round, you know. But this is this has been a grinder. All right, this is a hit and hope. Jack. <laughs> Find Jack's ball. Okay. This for me will depend on if I got three trouble. No shot, man. Oh, I hit it further than anybody. Great. Now I gotta think about it some more. Yardage wall. Oh, okay. I got a. I can get a seven there. A uh, baby six. I want to take that bunker out of play. Excuse me. Well, I took the bunker out of play. I left it short. <laughs> ah. All right. Not a tricky shot here. Maybe about a yard left of the pin. Let's see how good my short game is, okay? Stop. <laughs> Sutton and his putter are going to have a few words after the round. This isn't dead. All right. We'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. All right. I think that's the last of the hard holes. 163 into the wind, left to right, five. So no yardage change. Nine center of the green is how I'm going to play this. 297 is a stroke average. 17 is a five, and I birdied the par 418. So I'm kind of open. I just need to play the last three one under. It's a good start, isn't it, gang? Jack and I are in good shape. 12 feet. All right, Sutton first. Jack is a little longer than me. Oh, 
13 and 36. You don't want doubles on the tap in. I want doubles on the first putt. Ooh. I'm gonna back out here for a second. Two might play. Okay. Three, I think, is safe. Three is T60. Three T yeah, I think three So many so much golf left. Anyway, downhill or downwind. And twenty yards up the hill. So I'm losing ten. Going straight. We are we are trying to drive Miss Daisy here. Four seventy one to stroke average. It's the third time today I've hit the blankety-blank long drive chart, and it's the third time today I've hit it in the blankety-blank sand. Yeah, I still got to tell myself, I'm 300 a day. It's not been a bad round of golf. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna lay off. Bad lie in the sand. 170, 180. aim for those two bunkers. I'm not going to be able to get it there. I'm going to take a seven iron, and there's a chance I whiff on this, gang. Okay. Thank you, but he was spinning on that. Yeah, I can't hit a spinny. Right at the flag. Let's get this close. Big bucks! Big bucks, no whammies, no whammies. Oh! Big bucks in a spin. Yeah, even the cat's excited about that shot. <laughs> Wow. Three feet. Well, we either all make the cut or we're all watching baseball. One of the two here. T62. Oh, 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 we're going to be biting some nails. We're going to be biting some nails. <laughs> I hope this is entertaining to watch. This is nerve wracking, man. 18th hole. 18th hole. T64. Losing 10. So I'm playing for the very left edge of the fairway because it slopes so hard left to right. Scoring average today is 413. Well, at least this time I didn't lose it in the sand. 
I've never hit this many long drives in my life. That, that, that shot's what I wanted. Again, I'm the long driver. Sutton, this is right. None of us are going to play the weekend. All right, so I'm losing five and playing right to left five. So I'm going to hit a baby eight. And I just want this, if I can make a birdie here, great. If not, a, a 67 is what I should going to. If, if you were with me an hour and 10 minutes ago, that's what I asked for. So that's what I thought I needed to shoot. And so, uh, yep, yeah, I will take that. Well, got some work to do to play this weekend. Lagging. I just want to putt par. Go through it. Six four under sixty seven today. I hope so. We'll, we'll I'll quick send the rest of the round and we'll know. I putted better. I only had twenty seven putts today, but boy did I drive the ball bad. I only have hit half the fairways in two rounds. And if I don't make the cut, guys, it's that bogey at eleven. You don't need to hit fairways to score well. Again, if you would ask me which of the two rounds I would have taken, I would have taken yesterday's round. But I, I had three putts better today, which is all that matters. All right, so I am T64. We will let this play out. I think this should be enough. I need to drive the ball better if I play the weekend. Yeah, it's moving the right way. I need to drive the ball better. I think I putted okay. That certainly was an absolute grind to shoot a 67. So either we make it as a group or none of us make it. So we're taping digital dice. 13 under is the lead, by the way. 65. Um, and it was a, it's a user-suggested show. It was uh, trying to match the project with the right game. 69 is not what I want to see. Come on. Come on. Come on. Not everyone's out on the course yet. I'd feel a lot better about that if everyone was out. Seventy. No, no. Oh, no. See, that's one of the things about not playing, playing so early in the day is you're just not sure. And I don't think we're going to make it. I don't think we're going to make it.
That's not, everyone's out there now. 72, 73, 74, 75, yep, 77. So, we'll have hockey for you Sunday. <laughs> 80. Eighty-one. I honestly don't know more work I could have done. It really was that bogey on eleven that did it. Wow, I'm gonna miss the cut. Which I wouldn't have believed that. So have hockey for you on Sunday. We'll give it um, stone cold, whatever we got worked on. One more week prior to the release. Yeah, we're going to miss it all by one. I mean, the four unders are now T61. That's too bad. I like this course an awful lot. That's it. So T83 for the week. No paycheck. No paycheck for Jack. I was almost dead last in fairways. I think that's what did it. Did not hit a lot of greens. I putted very well. And that's that for that. All right. Well, next week we'll see you from San Diego on the uh, on the Ron Jucket Tour for the something or another open from Torrey Pine South. Well, I, I love showing this, and I think it's just different from doing the best of the best of the best of. And that's what happens. I mean, I four under par, I thought that was a pretty good round. How did I flub up nine? Oh, at the card path. I just hit a... Hit a bad shot from the cart path, and that's I did it. But you know, that's that's what it takes. And when you got the best ever doing this, yeah, eleven was it. It really is the back and forth of it all. You're right. And hitting the hitting the branch on eleven. All right, well, thank you so much for taking the hour and 18 to watch. Uh, yeah, I like I like where this replay is going because it's very different from just championship, championship stuff. But darn it, I really liked Riviera. I would have loved to have done another stream from Riviera. All right, we're going to, I hope we're taping Digital Dice today. We'll be with you Sunday at noon for some hockey. Not quite sure what the heck we're doing, but that's that for that. Until then, I'm Ron Jucket. Have yourself a wonderful day, everybody. So long.